this is Chukudi, and this is my mom. Um, some challenges I was having, um, problems with my pregnancy and all that. So when I came back, I had to be looking for But um, at the same time, to that same baby, I had the child after 11 days, I lost him. They said this was infection. What I believe is the environment. I know it's not my fault issue in this environment, but due to how things happened and the water and everything, like if you check my backyard, it's so messed up. Some people sometimes pull and throw behind my window and instead of perceiving fresh air from the window, you end up perceiving nonsense, all manner of things just keep coming. I think Almighty God has sustained us this this far that I've made us to even sit today. I've been just wetting my pillows with tears before my husband received call that you guys are coming around and to try and put myself together. You know, like, no matter how hard I try to, like, even put myself together, I can't forgive or forget the incident because sometimes I don't feel like I'm responsible or I have not done what I should have done for him or, like, I wasn't, I don't know. I don't know. My child has been all about um, scholarship, mommy. I pray and hope one day I'll just get the scholarship. And she's this very bright kind of a person in her school. They call her mathematician. She's so smart with maths. And sometimes I just sit down and wonder and ask myself, that God, like me, I'm not really all that learned. I'm not truly educated. But she have that zeal, like that hunger for education. So I was like, God, I just hope I will really take her to where she is supposed to get to and she will not drop alongside like me. The situation is very difficult for me. I'm based on my job and everything and uh, it's very it's very tough for me. It's very, very tough for me. But I'm just asking people to just like assist me and help me out. Let me just get out of this place. The environment, the water, when we rainfall, we don't go anywhere, we stay inside the house. We don't go around, and for me to feed my children is very difficult for me. Up to now, there's no job for me. I'm just struggling to make sure that they survive. Because I just want people to help me. I'm a driver, and I'm, I'm, I'm working under someone, but the job is not that easy for me. You know, I'm, I'm supposed to have three of them now, and I just lost one about them on 30 of uh, last month, and, uh, and it's, it's very, very sad. But there's nothing we can do, we can't question God. How long have you lived here for? Um, I have lived here for, I think, um, for, I think 13 to 14 years. Um, and due to, she was like two years She was like two years old. Um, she, she, uh, wow. And have you like ever dreamed of moving out? And Yes, you uh, are. We have, we have been doing that, but you know, along the line, things just like, you know, when we plan it, things will just come up and uh, all the plan will just like, will just go just like that. But, and we, every day we pray hard to like, God should help us to move out of this place. Can you tell me about going to school? Your mom said you like studying. Yeah. Tell me what you like to do in school, your favorite subject. Favorite subject is maths. And I love studying separate from others because if I stay close to them, they like distracting me. So I like staying focused so I can get them into my maths. What is your, what do you want to be in the future? Hmm? What I like to be in the future is a doctor. How is it living here? Do you like it here? No. Why? Why don't you like it? Because when we are full, when water is entered the house, and it's a lot of struggle to come out from it. Uh, you guys remember the pictures of this girl that I posted a few weeks ago. Um, I went a few months ago to share food stuff to the slum and I remembered that I saw one of them reading in a very horrible state. So I got back there a few weeks ago and I saw them again and recognized them and it broke my heart the situation they've been in. So I promised to get them a place and you know to just get them out of that place. Well, guess what? Today we are doing that. We have gotten them a new apartment and we have fully furnished it.
but they don't know this. So we are going to go and I'm going to pretend like I want to bring them to my house so that we can talk and know the next way forward. But little will they know that where I'm taking them to is actually their house. So I'm very excited about it. And yeah, let's do it. I'll see you guys. How are you? Oh, wow. It's a full house. Yeah. How are you, sir? How are you? Okay. What's your name again? Chiso. Chiso. Wow. Okay. Um, I want you guys to come. Let's go to my house. Okay. Hmm? All of you. So we can have a, a, a meeting. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why not? Yesterday, today and forevermore What you say is what you do You never go, you never change You are faithful till the end Faithful God, I worship you I worship you I know um, I said that I was digging into my house because there are a lot of things I want to know, people to know, us to talk about. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that this is not my house, this is a new house. Okay? And this is a new house. <laughs> no, get up. <laughs> get up. Yeah. This is the key to your house. I've furnished it. Everything here is your own. <laughs> There's another good news I have for you. One of my partners, who is also my friend in the US, Nancy, saw your pictures and uh, she said she wants to give a scholarship to university. <laughs> so if we are going to have <laughs> scholarship, any school you want to go to. Oh my god. Any school. <laughs> So, <laughs> so you guys are going to yeah. oh she what was about you always wanted scholarship and you prayed for it so it can happen <laughs> and then um what do you do now for business okay okay Job. So would you want to continue? Would you want to do a transport business? Yes, I would like to do transport. Like own your own bus and uh, I heard there is money in it. Yes. Okay. So that being said, I want you to start your own business. Okay? So this is one million. I'm giving you that one million. Okay? That's a check of one million. Okay. Another thing I want to you know mention is um, partnering with um, Golden Heart Foundation. 
So you are going to be doing free entrepreneurship training, you know, and what that means is they are going to train you on how to uh, do uh, transport business better. You understand? Because sometimes we have the money, but we don't know how to. So you are, they are going to give you a six months free entrepreneurship program. So shout out to uh, Golden Heart Foundation slash Dominion City for making that possible. Thank you, baby. By this time next year, you're going to have another. He's going to come back. The one thing you should know is that our time is not the same with God's time. Yes. You know, sometimes we might want God to do something now, now, but He has a plan for us. So all this that you're seeing is God that orchestrated it. Do you understand? It's God that put it in my heart. So all the prayer that I've been praying, this is God hearing it and answering it. Okay. What you guys to do is to not forget what made this possible. Most times people come and think it's me. I'm only a tool and a vessel that God uses to do such things, you know. And right now, God has remembered you guys, you know, and this is the beginning of a new thing for you. When I met her, she was reading in a slum, so I felt I should buy where you'll be doing your assignments. Okay, so I bought this. Really excited that we've been able to get them off the streets and you know I believe with the money we've given them it will really go a long way for them. I want to thank and appreciate Dr. Nancy for giving these kids uh, a lifetime opportunity which is a, a scholarship you know um, what's filled me to appreciate you and I want to thank